Hello and welcome to Phantom Forces Weapon Spotlight, a series where I give a more subdued and informative look on the weapons of Phantom Forces. In this episode, I'll be covering the DT-11 Pro. The DT-11 Pro is a shotgun unlocked at rank 133, and it's currently the shotgun with the highest unlock rank in the game, as well as one of two double barrel shotguns in the game. It fires 9 pellets, each dealing 38 damage up to 40 studs, and falling off to 17 damage by 200 studs. It fires at 350 RPM with a 1x body multiplier and 1.14x head multiplier. It has 1700 studs per second muzzle velocity and a 0.7 studs penetration depth. It has around medium recoil with very slow weapon recovery. It has a tight spread, one of the tightest in the game in fact. It holds 2 shells in total with 50 shells in reserve of 12 gauge buckshot and it has a 2.4 seconds reload speed with a 2.6 seconds empty reload speed. It has 14 walk speed which is average for shotguns and a 15.5 aim speed which is above average. The DT-11 Pro is an excellent shotgun because it deals a lot of damage and has one of the smallest spread in the whole game. But it's unfortunately held back because it's a double barrel shotgun. It can only hold two shells at a time. And well, because of this, it's crucial that you play a little slowly with this weapon and use all the range it has to offer to your advantage. Stick to around medium range and only move forward and push forward when you're confident that no one's gonna pop out around a corner and kill you. Being too close to the enemies is a real gamble as again, you only have two shots, you have to make it count. If more than two enemies show up, you're kinda screwed. The DT-11 is very much a dueling weapon. It dispatches single enemies extremely effectively, but deals very poor with crowds, teams, or just multiple people in general. The DT-11's main competitor is, of course, the Stevens DB. It's actually barely different from one another, almost having the same spread, in fact. The DT-11 deals more damage, reloads quicker, and fires faster, but the DB can fire both barrels and has a faster weapon recovery. I'd say that it's very much on par with each other, and it's mostly up to personal preference which one you like better. Most people like the DB like instant burst mode, some people don't need it. Personally, I like the DT-11 better because it's the model looks very good. It's very beautiful, very well made, and also because I just don't do instant burst, so I'm not losing out on much. Now, this is where I would usually go into notable conversions, but the DT-11 doesn't have any of that. Uh, it only has the standard shotgun pellet types, and those should be fully up to personal preference. So I will get into attachments right now, but before I do, I like to say that the DT-11 has a lot of attachments that significantly affect the gun, but it's not reliant on them. The DT-11 is a very solid weapon that just works out of the box, and you don't really need any attachments on it to make it good. Combat barrel and short barrel both do the same thing in that they reduce reload speed, increase your walk speed, and increase your aim speed at the cost of increasing your spread. These barrel options are actually pretty good on small maps. The reload speed increase will help offset the larger spread, and in small maps, spread isn't that much of a problem anyway. And out of the two options, short barrel offers more benefits but also more downsides. Olympian stock reduces your recoil and increases your camera recovery speed at the cost of handling speed. I personally don't see much use for this stock. Recoil isn't really much of an issue when you can easily one-shot people, and you only have two shots in total anyway, so it's much better to just wait for full recovery for the second shot. And even then, the problem is, is that this weapon has very slow weapon recoil recovery, not camera recoil recovery. I personally don't recommend it, but I can see why some people might like it. The sporting stock increases your weapon recovery speed, but also increasing your recoil and reducing your camera recovery speed and also reducing your handling speed. This stock sounds good on paper as the DT-11's weapon recovery speed is very slow, but in practice, the downsides are really bad. Instead of weapon recovery, now you have to deal with camera recoil and camera recoil recovery. Not to mention, you're also very slow with this stock on, so I wouldn't recommend ever using this stock. Removing the stock increases your handling speed, but also increases your recoil and further reduces your weapon recovery speed. This is actually not a bad option, as being maneuverable with the DT-11 is a pretty good idea since you need to back off when you need to reload most of the time. 
Personally, I don't use it because it makes the weapon recovery speed even slower than it already is. But if you don't mind that and you just want to move faster, go for it. It's not bad. And as a final note, do not use the skeleton grip because it increases your spread for some reason. Go use the laser instead. And that concludes this episode of Final Forces Weapon Spotlight. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel as it helps a lot. Thank you for watching, and see you next time.